The Bible does not teach us to pray for us to be wealthy. Instead, the Lord himself taught that we should pray for God's will to be done and ask him to give us what we need in order to serve him. In other words, we should pray for God's kingdom to advance and grow and prosperous. Does God want us to be financially blessed? The answer is yes, but not the way the prosperity gospel preachers on television says, the name it and claim it gospel. We see that to be successful and prosperous, we need to be constantly in the word, in the morning, at night, and throughout the day. We need to be obedient and follow what God is showing us in the scripture in order for us to be successful. The Bible says that if we are willing and obedient, we'll eat the good of the land in Isaiah 1 verse 19. Therefore, this only works if you are obedient. There are many reasons God wants us to prosper. First, God wants to bless us. Psalm 35 verse 27 says, Let them shout for joy and be glad, who favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. As you can see, God wants your bill paid, your needs met, and your family blessed. Psalm 84 verse 11, the Bible says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestow grace and favor and glory, honor and splendor and heavenly bliss. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. God does not hold back any blessings from his children. Psalm 115 verse 14, the Bible says, May the Lord give you increase more and more in your children. In John 10, 10, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. God's desire is for his children to live an abundant life, not just in spiritual blessings and health, but in material blessings as well. In 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9, the Bible says, For though you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. Jesus paid the price for us. He became poor and through him we can be rich. Why does God want you to be financially blessed? God wants to bless you financially so you can finance the gospel and establish his covenant. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 says, But remember the Lord our God. He gives you the ability to produce wealth. That shows that he stands by the terms of his covenant. He promised it with an oath to our people long ago, and he's still faithful to his covenant today. Remember the power to produce wealth is a gift from God. He has provided you with the seeds of greatness. He has given you the mind of Christ. God wants you to honor him through your financial success. Proverbs 3 verse 9 to 10, the Bible says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with no wine. God wants you to be a consistent giver to fund his local church and ministry outreaches. And if you do not have any money, you can't do that. Malachi 3 verse 10, the Bible says, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Improve me now by it, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. The Bible says that when we pray for our own selfish desires, we are unlikely to receive what we have asked for. James 4 verse 3, when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with the wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your own pleasure. The Lord does promise that to those who follow him in this life, he will provide for their needs and give to them eternal life. When we pray for financial blessings, it should not be for our glory, but for the glory of our God. God delights in the sacrifice of his people because when they are worshiping him this way, They are doing the things for which they were created. Let us pray. O God, my Father, anoint my head today with oil and prosperity and let my financial blessings accounts overflow in the name of Jesus. O God, my Father, let the anointing for money yielding ideas fall upon me now in the name of Jesus. O God, my Father, let people of all tribes, all languages, and nations come together to bless me in the name of Jesus. All unbroken curses of my family line that is draining away my finances be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command every root of poverty in my life to be destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. O God, my Father, manifest your power in my life and transform my finances in the name of Jesus. 
Oh Lord, send people my way that will advance the cause of my destiny in the name of Jesus. I reject every spirit of wretchedness. I refuse to be poor. I will achieve my goals and my dreams in the name of Jesus. Every root of empty pocket in my life to be destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to enjoy riches that will endure throughout my lifetime in Jesus' name. Arrows of financial death assigned against my job and income die by fire in the name of Jesus. I command every root of never enough in my life to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every strange money in my life that is affecting my prosperity be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. Father, because you are my financial helper, let my destiny never lack money in the name of Jesus. I release the blood of Jesus to repair the foundation of my finances in the blood of Jesus. From today, I break the spirit of debt and servitude operating in my life in the name of Jesus. I stand on the word of God and arrest every demonic opposition to my prosperity in the name of Jesus. Every evil serpent swallowing my finances, vomit them by fire in the name of Jesus. I shall have enough to satisfy my need and plenty to give to others in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, remove all the limitations that will prevent me from prospering in my life in Jesus' name. Any power standing against my early financial breakthroughs be consumed by fire in Jesus' name. O Lord, enlarge my coast and bring my destiny to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. O God, arise and disgrace every crop of poverty in my life in the name of Jesus. I release myself from every family pattern of poverty in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that my hands have started to build, they shall finish it in the name of Jesus. O Lord, let money forever remain my loyal messenger in Jesus' name. I overthrow every power occupying my seat of prosperity in the name of Jesus. O God, I'm tired of managing poverty. Give me the resources that will cancel every insult in my life in Jesus' name. O Lord, make me a pillar to support the expansion of God's kingdom in the name of Jesus. Lord, make me a channel of your blessings in my life in the name of Jesus. The source of my income shall not dry up by the wicked in the name of Jesus. Any power using money in exchange for my virtue and my blessing be destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. God, arise and put to shame all those who hit my prosperity in the name of Jesus. I release my finances from the influences, the control, and dominion of house or wickedness in the name of Jesus. Angels of the living God, press your money into my hand in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, I ask for financial breakthroughs to fulfill my destiny in Jesus' name. My Father, I ask for grace to save and invest my money. I declare that my frustration will not allow me to defraud people in the name of Jesus. Angels of financial breakthrough, manifest into my financial life today in Jesus' name. Any power using women and men to steal my financial glory, die by fire in Jesus' name. O oh God, teach my hand to prosper beyond measure in the name of Jesus. Any evil man or woman giving me money in a dream, take your money back. I roast any curses issued against my financial breakthrough. Break and release me tonight in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, teach me the secret of divine prosperity. Every plan of the enemy against my financial breakthrough, I command you to scatter and cancel by fire in Jesus' name. Anything representing my prosperity in the dark world, receive fire now in the name of Jesus. Any conspiracy formed to strip my glory naked financially, scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of non-achievement fire at me and my family, come out and catch fire in Jesus' name. Throughout this year and beyond, I shall experience supernatural divine provision in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, grant me the power to be a committed giver in Jesus' name. Father, connect me with someone that will help me financially in the name of Jesus. I commend the spirit of devour upon my finances to die in the name of Jesus. Father, supply your great needs to me and my family in the name of Jesus. My Father, have mercy on me and revive my finances tonight in Jesus' name. I curse those that is cursing my ability to prosper in Jesus' name. Father, I need money to get my goals going. Fulfill it in my life in the name of Jesus. O Lord my God, build a wall of fire around my harvest against satanic devourers in the name of Jesus. I reject, I renounce, and resist the spirit of mammon in my life in the name of Jesus. By your mercies, O Lord, I recover all my lost benefits and blessings in the name of Jesus. O Lord, baptize me with the generous spirit of a cheerful giver who gives out of love and not of a compulsion. The Lord will make me a pillar of support for the expansion of God's kingdom in Jesus' name. All my past generosity will be remembered by God. Every impossible situation in my life will be turned around by God on the account of my past generosity in Jesus' name. 
I believe in miracles. I serve a God of miracles. Therefore, every chapter closed by men against me will be reopened by God in my favor in Jesus' name. Just as the famine in the days of Joseph elevated him, help me, Lord, to see the opportunity that the current global financial crisis is creating for my prosperity in Jesus' name. I receive grace to enjoy riches that will endure throughout my lifetime in Jesus' name. I receive total liberty from the embarrassing yoke of death in the name of Jesus. I receive total deliverance, embarrassing stigma of knocking doors and repeated phone calls in the name of Jesus. I will enjoy the surplus of heaven to achieve my purpose and have leftover in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be a burden on my families and friends. I am a lender and not a borrower in Jesus' name. Whenever the needy need my help, my purse will not be empty. I will be readily available to meet their needs in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, deliver me and my family from this every evil habit that are killing our health and destiny in Jesus' name. The Lord will satisfy my mouth with good things. I shall have appetite and money to eat choice food and accomplish great things. I receive total deliverance from the curse of poverty and affliction that has ever plagued my family line. I will live to transfer prosperity to prosperity in the name of Jesus. I shall not only be great in wealth, but also great in name in Jesus' name. Let your spirit empower me, O Lord, to attend, sustain, and enjoy success in the name of Jesus. My joy shall multiply at the end of this month. I shall therefore count blessings and add sorrows in Jesus' name. O Lord, deliver me from profitless labor and confuse every activity as in Jesus' name. I shall not waste my seed. I will be divinely guided to plant my seed on fertile soil in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, let money forever remain my loyal messenger in Jesus' name. From now on, all my investment and labor since the beginning of my career in ministry will begin to yield a full profit in Jesus' name. In every tight situation, let my thigh provoke heavenly solution in Jesus' name. This week, my past generosity will bring forth a pleasant surprise in the name of Jesus. Throughout this year, none of my resources shall be wasted on medical bills or any form of profitless ventures in the name of Jesus. Satan will not receive the backing of heaven to wipe out my financial resources with evil erosion in Jesus' name. Whosoever looks up to me for help this year will not be disappointed. I shall have enough to satisfy my need and plenty to give to others in needs in Jesus' name. I receive deliverance from the bondage of doubt and fear that past failures and misfortune has introduced into my life in Jesus' name. I receive the required courage to step into greatness God has ordained for me in Jesus' name. I submit to the leadership of God's Spirit, and I receive the backing of heaven for breakthrough and success in the name of Jesus. I receive the favorable countenance of God, therefore heaven will agree with all my steps of faith, and God's will shall prosper in my hands. I refuse to submit my courage to frustration. God will send me encouragement today. I will be energized to continue the race in Jesus' name. The sun is rising today, announcing my season of success and fulfilling my purpose in Jesus' name. Those that believe in me and have invested in my dream, encouraging and supporting me will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. The Lord will allow something better to come out of every bad situation that baffles me in Jesus' name. Let the prophetic power that operates in the valley of dry bones reunite me with my Lord's glory, my helper, in the name of Jesus. Those doubting my ability to succeed will soon become my subject in the name of Jesus. Those that refuse to lend unto me during my moment of struggling will soon begin to lean on me in Jesus' name. Those who gather to frustrate my vision will beg to be part of my celebration in the name of Jesus. Every opposition I encounter today will soon form a chapter of my success story in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give me a new name and a new identity that will bury all the ugly stories associated with my background in Jesus' name. My new life in Christ has clothed me with a garment of righteousness. My past sinful life would no longer hurt or haunt me in Jesus' name. A similar grace that made Jabez more honorable than his brethren will distinguish me among my equals in the name of Jesus. Today marks the beginning of my bouncing back. My spiritual life shall be restored and my lost glory shall be fully recovered. I declare every department of my life under the control of Satan disconnected in Jesus' name. In all the areas where men have failed me, let your mercy prevail for me in Jesus' name. In all the areas where money may disgrace me, let your mercy raise men of influence in my favor in the name of Jesus. This week I will encounter God's mercy that will end all my problems of money associated with my family in the name of Jesus. Inadequate supply will not compel me to abandon God. Excess supply will not deceive me to disconnect from God in Jesus' name. 
I received Christ's spirit of endurance to endure the season of adversity and wait for the era of prosperity in Jesus' name. Whatever positive purpose I pursue, I will possess because the Spirit of God will instruct my steps in the right direction in Jesus' name. To God be all the glory tonight. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, amen.